All right, let's continue with our idea of um, looking if two variables are independent of each other or are they related to each other or, you know, is there an association? Okay, remember that those don't all mean the same thing. Independent would mean they're not related. There is no association. One variable is not affecting the other. Independent, independent, independent. When the fact that you are one thing does not change the rate. Okay, so but now let's take a look at what it would look like whenever we have the other situation. And so let's talk through that. We have the same sample of Super Bowl um, subjects, but we have different, or maybe we have 3,000 different subjects. So we're still wondering at what rate are they watching the football game, watching the Super Bowl for commercials, or they are not watching the Super Bowl, okay? And we are wondering if the fact that they are male or female is affecting the rate at which they do those things. And so I do have 800 and 1,200, again, females and males. So I can't just compare their numbers because there's different totals. I have to compare their rates. Well, let's see overall what's happening. What's it called whenever it is going to be based on this overall probabilities? That is the marginal. It's coming from these totals. Okay, so 3,000 is my denominator for these totals. So I did that, 1,100 over 3,000. So overall, just 36.7% are watching for the game. Okay, next, 40% here for watching for the commercials. That's right. That's what I'm saying. And then we got 23.3% who are just not going to watch at all. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a picture of these. See, here was my bottom 23.3%. And then I added on top of that 40%. That brought me up to 63.3%, and then I finished out the top 36.7%, which were the gain. And I have the key to this down on, another, on a, the lower graph. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens if we separate this out by you being a male or a female. This is conditional upon you being a male or female, what rate do you do these things? So. I'm going to do the male fractions and all of my denominator every time I do male fraction is going to be out of the 1,800 males. All right, so I do those male fractions and here they are. 900 of the 1,800 males watch for the game. 600 of the 1,800 males watch for the commercials. And only 300 of the 1,800 males do not watch at all. Okay, and then I'm going to do this conditional upon you being a female. So out of the 1,200 females, what are those different sections going to be? The rate at which you do those things when you are a female. 200 out of 1,200 females watched for the football game. 600 out of the 1,200 females watched for the commercials. And 400 out of the 1,200 females don't watch at all. So there I see that those are different percentages. So I see that the fact that you are male or female is affecting the rate. So the fact that you are male or female is changing the rate at which you do something. So they are related. They are connected. They are not independent of each other. Okay. They are not independent of each other. All right. Let's take a look at what this picture would look like. Wow, see how these graphs here look different and they look different altogether from the marginal. Because remember, if we have just two variables here, I can compare them to each other. But if there was more than two, I have to compare to the conditional. All right, so here we go. Um, that so so I can see the fact that you are male or female is affecting the rate at which you do things and I can clearly see that because my bars my 
sections on my bars are different looking. Okay, so we want to do a three-point conclusion. First, state your idea of if they are independent or not. And I say, gender and Super Bowl activity are not independent of each other. They are related. There is an association. Something is happening there. Then I elaborate on that. And I kind of go, the fact that you are, the fact that you are male or female changes the rate at which you prefer a certain Super Bowl activity. For example, so now specifics for each category. Three specifics. For example, men watch the Super Bowl game higher rate than women. And then I give the two percentages, 50% for men, 16.7. Holy moly, that's a lot different. See, look, I'm, I'm comparing men and women for the game. And then I'm going to compare men and women for the commercials. And then I'm going to compare men and women for the won't watch. All right. Women watch the commercials during the Super Bowl at a higher rate than men, 50% versus 33.3%. And... Finally, women choose to not watch the Super Bowl at a higher rate than men, 33.3% to 16.7%. So that is your three-point conclusion, making sure that you have statistical evidence for all three of those categories. All right. So in summary, this situation we had was one where we were over here. The variables were related. So the fact that you were male or female is affecting the rate. They are related. The variables are not independent of each other. There is some type of connection between gender and what you choose to watch. All right. So I hope that you can get that straight and um, that you will do well on your uh, practice problem for independence.